Welcome to this uh, FM Studio Pro tutorial that shows how to set up your FM Studio Pro website using FM Gateway Hosting. FM Gateway Hosting is by far the easiest, cheapest, and quickest way to get FM Studio Pro going and working with your FileMaker database in no time. Uh, once you have an FM Gateway Hosting account, you need to upload your uh, FileMaker database to FM Gateway using the very simple to use FM Gateway admin console. Once you have your FileMaker database on the FM Gateway server that was assigned to you, setting up Dreamweaver and FM Studio Pro with FM Gateway takes minutes. All you do is you go to FM Studio, or you go to Dreamweaver, any version from uh, Dreamweaver 8 to Dreamweaver CS5. In here, I'm using CS5. You then go to the FM Studio Pro menu and choose the FM Gateway Site Wizard. Now, you do get a little warning here that sometimes you do have to resize this window. As you can see, Dreamweaver sometimes does not size it properly. So we'll just open up the window. And there we go. Now, you're going to have to type in your FM Gateway username and password. I have this little account here. Let's click Next. There we go. Now you need a site name. For the site name, I will use FM Studio underscore test one. And you have to choose a local save path. Now this is a path where you will save your sites locally, a backup copy of it, before you upload the files to FM Gateway. So this can be anywhere on your computer, probably somewhere within your documents. And um, I will actually place mine on disk C. We'll choose FM Studio Sites. And I will name this test one. And there we go. It's selected. Click Next. Now this is the site folder. This is asking you what folder you want to use in FM Gateway. So when you sign up with FM Gateway, you get a subdomain. For example, for this account, I have mpetrov23.fmgateway.com. And when initially working with FM Studio sites, we recommend for you to use subfolders. So I will use FM Studio Test 1, click Validate. And um, as you can see, it showed me a URL that the site will be at mpetrov23fmgateway.com forward slash fmstudio underscore test one. If you're ever only going to have a single site on FM Gateway, you could have chosen the root folder option as well. And this would not create the FM Studio test one. However, we strongly, strongly recommend for all test sites to have their own subfolders. Then when one of them is ready for production, you can just use an FTP client to quickly move it back into the root. Let's click Next. And uh, the site is created. And we need to put some helper files to FM Gateway. That's as simple as clicking the button and choosing OK. This process takes about 30 seconds. Well, um, once your FM Gateway site is uploaded, you get to this screen, which means your FM Gateway site has been set up and you can create your first database connection. Now, in this video, let's go ahead and uh, do that. The first database connection, click Create My Database Connection. This prefills a number of settings for you. It uses your subdomain for the FileMaker server. It gives you a connection name. It uh, turns on a secure mode which is available on all FM Gateway accounts, and asks you for the username and password. Now, please note, the username and password here are for the web user inside of your database. This is not your FM Gateway username and password. And as you can see here, it says do not use your FM Gateway username and password. So on these servers, I have 
one database. Now click select. Perfect. And here I have a database, Photorama FM Studio Pro. Click OK. Click OK again. It's telling us that we're using a remote site with FTP. That means whenever we change our databases, we'll have to upload the databases folder again. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. And click Finish. Right, so we do have to do this one last step of uploading the database connection. So right click your connections folder and choose put. And uh, this is it. Your site is set up, ready to go. And you can double check that it's ready to go by opening up your databases. If you do not have this databases area, find it under window databases. And uh, under layouts, expand your layouts to make sure you can see all the layouts inside of your FileMaker database. And there we go, I see my layouts and the site is set up. This is how easy it is to set up FM Gateway Hosting with FM Studio. It takes less than two minutes. Thanks for watching and have a good day.